In 2017, workers at a ski resort in the Swiss Alps discovered a find in the ice that stunned everyone. However, this mystical story began 70 years earlier. In August 1942, a husband and wife named Dumoulin came out of their village to milk the cows. The field in which the animals grazed was high in the Alpine mountains. The Dumoulinans never returned home. For 70 years, no one knew what had happened to the couple. Their relatives and their seven children did not know about it. It was not until the year 2017 that ski resort workers discovered well-preserved bodies in the ice. The police quickly found out that the clothes and personal belongings of the people found date back to the 1940s. Even documents from which they were able to identify the bodies were preserved. There is a theory that the couple fell into a crevasse while hiking. For 70 years, snow and ice prevented the discovery of the disappearance. Because of global warming, some of the snow and ice has disappeared. Thanks to this, the bodies were finally found. The children of the Dumoulin couple, who were over 70 years old in the year 2017, confessed that it was an important event for them. For many decades, they have not stopped searching for their parents, and now they can finally feel peace. 430,000 years ago a meteorite fell in Antarctica. Then mammoths appeared on Earth, and Neanderthals began to inhabit the territory of Europe. At present, scientists are just beginning to study the fragments of this huge meteorite and are preparing for many discoveries. After all, the scale of the space object was just enormous. Do you remember the Chelyabinsk meteorite that fell in 2013? Give this video a like if you remember such an event. More than a thousand people were affected by the meteorite fall, mostly because of broken windows. The rest of the people were simply frightened. If the same meteor that fell in Antarctica 430,000 years ago had fallen on Chelyabinsk, nothing would have remained of the city. Researchers consider Antarctica an ideal place to study meteorites. Thanks to the complete absence of people and the perfectly white surface, it is much easier to detect objects that have fallen from space. And because of the very low temperature, the shards are perfectly preserved for hundreds of thousands of years. In 1996, NASA researchers discovered a Martian meteorite in Antarctica, which they estimate may contain traces of ancient life from Mars. According to scientists, the meteorite was 4 billion years old. After several decades of research, the hypothesis of living organisms, unfortunately, was not confirmed. But given the fact that, according to rough estimates, the number of meteorites in Antarctica is 300,000, and most of them have not yet been explored, scientists can expect many unexpected surprises. Looking at these photos, it is impossible to believe that this is not a Photoshop. The lighthouse is completely covered with ice, and there is no ice on the lake. A similar amazing phenomenon happened a few years ago on the island of Michigan. A coincidence of weather conditions a sudden cold snap and a strong wind caused sharp gusts of waves to crash directly onto the lighthouse. For a while the building was covered in ice and looked like a castle from a fairy tale. That's when the photographer captured the lighthouse. Soon after, the ice melted and the building returned to its original appearance. In the mid-80s of the last century, an unusually shaped skull was found on Shetland Island, which is located in Antarctica. Scientists were able to determine that this is the skull of a man who lived in the early 19th century in Chile. How did a man from Chile end up in Antarctica in the early 19th century? At first, researchers assumed it was one of the seal hunters who came here to hunt seals. However, it quickly became clear that the skull belonged to a woman. There is no mention of women hunting seals. And the shape of the skull found only adds to the mystery of this find. And, apparently, the owner of this skull was one of the first people to visit Antarctica. In 2016, a pyramid was discovered in Antarctica. Those flat shapes in the photograph indicated that it had been made by humans. Think of the pyramids, first of all, we imagine the Egyptian pyramids or the Mayan pyramids. However, the discovery of such an object in Antarctica would allow us to say that there was once a dead civilization on that continent. This discovery could change the way scientists think about the history of the continent. But scientists are not yet making bold conclusions. They tend to believe that this is a natural process in which humans do not participate. There are quite a few examples of such erosion on the planet. Such smooth formations may have been formed by ice and rock over thousands of years. The most striking example of such erosion is the famous Matterhorn in Switzerland. 
The smooth shape of the mountain has been seen by many, including the fact that the chocolate bar logo Toblerone was copied from this mountain. Write in the comments do you believe the theory that ancient people used the help of alien civilizations to build the pyramids in Egypt or Peru? Or do you think it's just a conspiracy theory? Looking at this picture, at first you might think that the man just picked up a stick from the ground. But in fact this man is a professor at the University of Colorado in the United States. And he is holding an ancient weapon that is more than 10,000 years old. This huge dart was part of the weapon. In the hands of the warrior was a bowl with the dart. The warrior would throw the dart to hit the target. Thanks to this design, the dart could reach great speed and hit its prey at an impressive distance. The dart was found thanks to a melted glacier on top of a mountain in Yellowstone Park in the United States. The dart belonged to the native Indians who inhabited the area. Most people know what mammoths looked like, huge creatures with huge tusks and hair, similar to elephants. But not everyone knows that at the same time there were creatures on the planet that resemble modern rhinoceroses. These were the woolly rhinoceroses. Animals that existed along with mammoths and went extinct at about the same time tens of thousands of years ago. Today, archaeologists managed to find the remains of these animals thanks to melting glaciers, which open up new secrets of the past for us. The Loch Ness Monster of Antarctica Everyone knows the famous mystical monster that may live in the Scottish Lake Loch Ness. While most scientists are skeptical about the existence of this monster, the huge monster from Antarctica, which lived many years ago, is a proven fact. In 1989, near Seymour Island in Antarctica, paleontologists found the remains of a creature with an incredibly long neck. It took them a long time to determine whose bones they were. It took the researchers more than 20 years to collect all the remains. They found more than 800 kilograms of bones of the ancient monster. Only after that were scientists able to describe it. They called it the Loch Ness Monster from Antarctica. It turned out to be the largest elasmosaurus, at least of those found to date. This floating monster was over 10 meters long, they went extinct several tens of millions of years ago. Most likely, elasmosaurs could, among other things, feed on sharks. This finding suggests that the incredible creature once lived in Antarctica, and possibly still does. Thanks to the melting of glaciers caused by global warming in the mountains of Norway, scientists are discovering new details about Viking life in the area in the past. A huge number of items have appeared that carry information about the life of the Vikings. These are various tools, household utensils and articles of clothing. All the finds are perfectly preserved, as they spent all these years in the ice. Because of melting glaciers in Alaska, researchers have stumbled upon an entire forest that has spent more than a thousand years in the ice. The place is called the Mendenhall Glacier. Scientists notice traces of trees that emerged from under the ice decades ago. Only now it is clear that unlike other similar forests that have been covered by the glacier for thousands of years, this one is well preserved. Full-grown trees that are not broken and are still upright. What other findings scientists will find in this forest and the ice cover shrinks even further remains a mystery. Scientists are interested not only in what is hidden in the ice, but also in the ice itself. Researchers believe there is ice in Antarctica that is up to a million and a half years old. This means that these ices began to form during the existence of mammoths and woolly rhinoceroses. Among the ice of Antarctica is the famous Blood Glacier, but don't be alarmed. Despite its bright red color, this glacier has nothing to do with blood. Small cracks in the ice allow iron-filled water to seep through. It is this element that gives the water its bright red color. And for the saturation of the subglacial lake with iron are responsible microorganisms that keep alive and get the necessary nutrients, despite the fact that they are under a huge layer of ice. This gives scientists reason to believe that life may persist beneath the glaciers on planets like Mars. Red is not the only amazing shade that natural ice can have. Let's talk about green ice. An iceberg of this color was discovered by scientists in Antarctica. According to them, in this case the cause is the presence of iron oxide. Moreover, such an iceberg can work as a delivery service. As it deflects away from Antarctica, it will sail far into the ocean, preserving the very iron oxide that will become a food source for plankton far away from Antarctica itself. Don't forget to give a like if you liked this video. 
subscribe to the channel and enable notifications about new videos. And, of course, leave your comments below this video.